Would you guys sit still for even just a minute? I'm trying to show off how much you've grown and that you're starting to get some color in those wings. Look at all of you, huh? Oh, hold still. These babies, they have grown so much, everyone. Look at them. Look how fast they are. They look like real birds now. Not quite like Daddy. There's Daddy Aussie Eye. So he's just, he's hanging out there. Oh, look, and if you look at the one in the middle, let's see if I can zoom in. Not those two, but the one hiding in the back there. See that glimmer of blue? It looks like we do indeed have a blue among their first five babies. I'm so excited. And look, look, they've gotten so curious. They hide up in the little, the little foliage. Oh, hi. Are you, are you curious? Yeah, yeah, they were all taking a really cute afternoon nap, and then our neighbors, it's spring again here, and the grass is growing, so our neighbors had their lawn company. Oh, look at that blue. So this one, that blue one is definitely going to be one that we keep. I might keep some of the green backs, but otherwise I think I'm going to give them all back to my parents. My parents gifted me Asiai and Persimmon. Persimmon is in the cage inside the nest. And guess what? The nest has new eggs! New eggs already! <laughs> There's five of them last time I checked in there, so we'll try to take a peek in there. We'll see if Persimmon will let us peek. Um, it's kind of a delicate process with seven birds in the cage, because once when I opened it to change out their spray millet, which is down there, they've got boiled egg and eggshells and their seeds and they have herbs and they have Zupreme and they have vitamins and millet. There's their millet. Uh, usually they have kale in here too, so they, they eat really good. They eat better than I do. Look, there's the blue one. I'm so excited. The blue one's gonna have a purple chest eventually too. I don't know. It's still too early to tell, really until they start singing, who's boys and who's girls, so I'm still holding off on developing any names for them. But yeah, Persimmon is sitting on five little eggs, so I'll try to get in there. Like I was about to say, when you have five of these guys, or seven, <laughs> I keep thinking five, uh, it's just kind of hard because one time I was changing the millet and one got out and thankfully the cat wasn't in here and my door was closed so I was able to catch it again without too much fuss but yeah they don't they don't like it when you mess around inside their cage but look at them look at how fast they go all day all day they wake up about eight o'clock on the dot and they just zip from one side of the cage to the next it's getting to the point where mom and dad are kind of sick of having a bunch of teenagers in this cage with them so I'm going to be moving them soon, but it's good, I've heard, to try to let the babies watch the parents feed the ne next clutch, the next batch of babies, for a day or two, because it teaches them how to be good parents too. And Asiai and Persimmon are the best parents ever, I swear. They took care of these guys even though we had drama and the carbon monoxide and then the heater dying with 20, 30 degree Fahrenheit. He, like, it was, it was chaotic, and yet they made all five babies make it to, to juvenilehood. And now it's my job to make sure they make it to adulthood, a happy adulthood. And the babies actually play on the swing, which makes me happy. I made that swing to go with the decor. Um, yeah. Yeah, you don't use it, do you, Persimmon? You're Aussie Eye, what am I saying? Alright, so let's see. I'm going to see if we can peek in at Persimmon, but I'm worried everyone's going to freak out, so we're going to do this very carefully. Hello everyone. I know. Please excuse us. And there she is. Yep, she's hunched down. She's hiding deep in there. Uh, I didn't get a chance to change the the like ice cream carton either. I actually cut a new ice cream carton up just like that and was going to change it out. Pulled out the old ice cream carton and there was already an egg in there. So I put it right back so the Ossian persimmon won't be too upset. She's been in there sitting hard for about a week, maybe two weeks now. We had to travel so that's why I wasn't able to do another Twee vlog update sooner. But yeah, there's more babies! <laughs> And I figure I'm going to name the first clutch uh, that we had. A clutch is the group of birds, by the way, a group of babies. Kind of like a cat has litters uh, and birds have clutches. So we're going to name the first clutch the butternut clutch because it's a butternut pecan container. And the second clutch will be the pecan clutch because, you know, the other, the other half of that butternut pecan. And then we'll change it out, and I'm going to let them probably have one more clutch if these eggs are fertile. I don't know if there's actually babies in those eggs. I already had to pull one that was positive was infertile. Um, look at him. He's checking on his lady. He's like, what, what happened? She was messing with you. Are you okay, Persimmon? 
Ostei does a really good job. He gathers what this is right here, in case you're wondering, is nesting material. They like to pull this apart and they use this as nesting material. So I'm actually going to make a little pile of it. Uh, it's easier if I shred it myself and let him make a pile of it. Like, make a pile of it and let him pull it together. Oh, he gets so mad if the teenagers try to play with it, though. If they fly down there to try to play with uh, the little pile of stuff, oh, Ossiai just is like, no, he'll rip it right out of their beak. He's like, that's mine, and he'll take it and build the nest. He's a very good nest builder. Persimmon sits great on the eggs, and when she comes out to stretch her wings neat, he goes in. Like I said, they're great parents, so it's exciting! We're g we've got our second clutch! Pretty soon, we're going to transfer the teenagers, uh, when the other babies are about two days old, so that they've had a chance to see how their parents do it, we're going to transfer the teenagers into a cage twice the size and height, which is where they'll be able to exercise, stretch their wings, uh, really develop healthy organs as a result of being able to fly up and down so much. And I'll, I will definitely update you guys when that happens, when we decorate that cage. Oh, I can't wait till I get a chance to properly clean this one. It's just so hard with so many of you. So hard. But thanks, everybody. So here's an update. The Tweedy PR team is doing great. Uh, we've got babies. It looks like we definitely have one blue, four greenbacks. We've got potentially another clutch on the way. And the teenagers are getting ready for their own home. Their own home. How about that, guys? So I will update you on these, on these fun little ones with our next development. See you guys later. See you guys later. Bye-bye.